Honoured guests, graduands, ladies and gentlemen, in a few minutes we'll be starting this afternoon's ceremony to celebrate the graduates from Regents University London. I am Dominic Laffey, Master of Ceremonies, and I have the honour of guiding you through today's ceremony. Graduands, at the appointed time, from your seat, line up as directed by the ushers. You will hand in your card. When your name is read out, you will walk to the centre of the stage, doff your cap to the Chancellor, who will be standing there, then you will walk on to the Director of Content or Course Leader. If you wish, you may have a scroll. If you wish a scroll, put your hand out. If you do not wish a scroll, put your hands like this. There will be the opportunity for a photo when you walk back. So it's hand over the pitch, hand over the card, doff your cap, director of content, photograph, and back. Simple. <laughs> Parents, friends, and supporters, today is a very special day for all of us. I know that many of you will want to record it via video and photographs and Instagram. Can I ask that you do not stand in the central aisle? Just to do this will get in the way of students as they return to their seats. At the end of the ceremony, when we move down to the lower lawns for the reception, there will be plenty of opportunity for both formal and informal photography. Can all of you please ensure your mobile phones are on silent or turned off during the ceremony, particularly that side of the room? <laughs> silent, please. Today is truly a day to celebrate, and although this is a formal occasion, I would encourage you to share your joy, or relief, as your daughter or son walks across the stage. <laughs> and to remember that there will be some students for whom no one is able to be present. So just for today, Let's applaud them as if they were our own. Would you all please stand for the entry of the academic procession? Can I ask you to remain standing while the platform party seat? Good afternoon. By the authority of the Board of Directors and the Academic Committee, I declare open this congregation for the conferment of academic awards. I now call upon the Vice Chancellor of Regents University London, Professor Jeff Smith, to welcome everyone to this graduation ceremony. Please do be seated. Chancellor, graduands, guests, friends, family, and colleagues, it's my pleasure and my privilege as Vice Chancellor of Regents University London to welcome you all today uh, to our graduation ceremony. It's so wonderful, so special to be here in person uh, celebrating your achievements with you. And of course, celebrating together today has been made so much more momentous, so much more poignant by the tumultuous 18 months we've all of us been through. The loss of life, of course, the unprecedented economic and social disruption, the millions of lives upended, the millions of livelihoods at risk. But now, with the light at the end of the tunnel firmly in view, now is the moment for global solidarity and support particularly for the most vulnerable in our societies, and to begin to build back better, to rethink, to reimagine, and to ensure that our new normal is a better, fairer, and a more sustainable one. So, to that end, we need you 
the region's graduates of 2020 to step up, to become the leaders and change makers we need, whether that's in the new ventures or the social enterprises that you'll no doubt launch, whether that's in the positions you'll take up back in your family firms, whether that's as entrepreneurs or corporate entrepreneurs, in the world of business or in politics, in your own practices, design studios, in your families and communities. We need Regents entrepreneurial graduates to help build back better. And as you take up that responsibility, just pause for a moment to look back at what you've achieved at Regents. All those deadlines conquered, those moments of self-doubt, those crises of confidence, all worked through, all surmounted. No doubt it's thanks in part to all of the support, practical and emotional, you've received from your loved ones and the support, academic and pastoral, I know you've received from your lecturers, tutors and the professional services here at Regents. But in the end, it's you, yourself, that got it over the line. And given the context we've been through, You've shown unbelievable grit and adaptability, courage and resilience. And these are the qualities that we want you now to amplify as you graduate out into such uncertain times. So let's allow no one to define you as the COVID cohort, the generation of students whose university education was interrupted or compromised or blighted by the pandemic. Instead, and in truth, you're the cohort that defied it, that looked its challenges straight in the eye and refused to be cowed or defeated by it, responding instead with innovation, with ingenuity, with imagination. We're incredibly proud of this cohort and we'll look on with admiration as you continue your journeys and make your marks in the world. And as you graduate from us today, you join the global community of Regents alumni Chief executives, founders, entrepreneurs, designers, politicians, influencers, actors, board members, royalty, all doing some remarkable things across the world. So I urge you to make the most of the opportunities that membership of this global network affords you. The team will be in touch soon to tell you more about how to get involved and what support you'll get. But in the meantime, on behalf of all the staff here at Regents, congratulations again to each and every one of you on your incredible achievement. Thank you. Chancellor, I call upon Professor Mark Allenson to commence the presentation of graduates from the undergraduate programmes and call upon Dr. Murray Hebbing to present the scrolls of the BA Liberal Studies programme. Chancellor, I present to you those candidates from the BA Liberal Studies Programme who are today being awarded degrees, diplomas and certificates. Violetta Ambrosi. <laughs> Alina Arcadi. Selena Chu. Eduardo Colombo. Ekaterina Engelsberg. Grace Fuller. <laughs> Jose Gonzalez Hermosillo. <laughs> Maria Luisa Governa. Lisa Griaznov. <laughs> Emma.
el Sheikh Alama Hamush. Pauline Holterbosch. Sofia Jauregui Calderón. Tanya Keber. Sylvia Jink Wei Lim. Rashida Mandari. Krish Mehta. Maximilian Morandel. Martha Moscovich. Muriel Nassim Monk. Pascal Sen. Christopher Stroud. Edward Teasdale. Sammy Torp. Lena Wahlig. Wissam Sabadne. <laughs> Zainab Zamani. <laughs> Samara Zauhi. Rabia Zinati. <laughs> Amina Zasanova. Mm -hmm. Chancellor, that concludes the presentation of graduates from the BA Liberal Studies Program. Chancellor, I call upon Dennis Maloney to present the scrolls of the BA Fashion Design, Fashion Marketing and Interior Design programmes. <laughs> Chancellor, I present to you those candidates from the BA Fashion Design programme who are today being awarded degrees, diplomas and certificates. Monica Acosta do Nascimento Pereira. Elisa Alberici. <laughs> Afifa Altaf. <laughs> Orezime Essay. Stephanie Ferreira. <laughs> Gabriel Schimmel.
Sofia Zenonus. That concludes the presentation of graduates from the BA Fashion Design. Chancellor, I present to you those candidates from the BA Fashion Marketing. Fashion. <laughs> from the BA Fashion Marketing Program, who are today uh, being awarded degrees, diplomas, and certificates. Noor Abu Shaud. Virginia Batista and Cesar. <laughs> Maylis de Vilge. <laughs> Sofia Farouk. Maxine Hunner Waddell. <laughs> Jitnapa Jaron Velkejan. <laughs> Sophie Cole. Victoria Magistretti. Virginia Pena. Anana Louise Wingren. So that concludes the presentation of graduates from the BA Honours Fashion Marketing. Chancellor, I present to you those candidates from the BA Honours Interior Design who are today being awarded degrees, diplomas and certificates. Maria Gedike. Anna Gates. <laughs> Emily Hutchins. <laughs> Courtney Wellam. So that concludes the presentation of the graduates from the BA uh, Interior Design. Chancellor, I call upon Dr. Kit Barton to present the scrolls for the acting, film and media and screenwriting programs. Chancellor, I present to you those candidates from the BA Acting and World Theatre Program who are today being awarded degrees, diplomas and certificates. Ayan Agnil Hotri. <laughs> Felicia Bockman. <laughs> Alessandro Cassesi. Barbara D'Alessio. <laughs> Jasmine Harewood. <laughs> James Nandra. Victoria Novakowska. (laughs) 
Jules Shelby. <laughs> Wendy Van Horen Carinero. <laughs> Chancellor, that concludes the presentation of graduates from the BA Acting and World Theatre Programme. Chancellor, I present to you those candidates from the BA Film, TV and Digital Media Production Program who are today being awarded degrees, diplomas and certificates. Junian Migon. <laughs> Carlos Pal. Paolo Valenti. <laughs> Daniel Joshua Walsh. <laughs> Chancellor, that concludes the presentation of graduates from the BA Film, TV and Digital Media Production Programme. Chancellor, I present to you those candidates from the BA Screenwriting and Producing Programme who are today being awarded degrees, diplomas and certificates. Leila Bard. <laughs> Emily Down. Helena Escribano Kunat. Grace Hennessy. Benjamin Stevens. Chancellor, I call upon Dr. Anna Maria Pascal to present the scrolls for the BSc Psychology Programme. Chancellor, I present to you those candidates from the BSc Psychology Programme who are being awarded today degrees, diplomas and certificates. Renata Kutrali Martins. Tanisha Digakar. <laughs> Jesper Mickelson. Yeah. Muna Alo. Noah Shapiro. <laughs> Yasmin Zaydan. <laughs> Chancellor, that concludes the presentation of the graduates from the BSc Psychology program. Chancellor, I call upon Leo Jetou to present the scrolls of the Foundation Certificate in Psychotherapy and Counselling. Chancellor, I present to you those candidates from the Foundation Certificate in Psychotherapy and Counselling program who are today being awarded certificates. Natalie Barso. Simona Nixon.
Chancellor, that concludes the presentation of graduates from the Foundation Certificate Psychotherapy and Counselling Programme. Chancellor, I call upon Dennis Maloney to present the scrolls for the MA International Fashion Marketing Programme. Chancellor, I present to you those candidates from the MA International Fashion Marketing Program who are today being awarded degrees, diplomas, and certificates. Maria Antonova. <laughs> Faria Farid. Rashmi Guhan. <laughs> Maria Kuntori. <laughs> Georgia Pask. That concludes the presentation of graduates from the MA International Fashion Marketing Programme. Chancellor, I call upon Dr. Mirela Hebbing to present the scrolls for the MA Media and Digital Communications and MA International Relations Programmes. Digital Communications. Chancellor, I present to you those candidates from the MA Media and Digital Communications Programme who are today being awarded degrees, diplomas and certificates. Annalisa Angelozzi. Simona Krasteva. Sara Lundgren. Chancellor, that concludes the presentation of graduates from the MA Media and Digital Communications program. Chancellor, I present to you those candidates from the MA International Relations program who are today being awarded degrees, diplomas, and certificates. Yasmina Germush. Lorena Plavianic. Rita Vaz. Ling Wang. Chancellor, that concludes the presentation of graduates from the MA International Relations Programme. Chancellor, I, pre I call upon Leo Jetu to present scrolls for psychology and psychotherapy programmes. Chancellor, I present to you those candidates from the MS... Uh, sorry, I've got... MSc Psychology Program, who are today being awarded degrees, diplomas, and certificates. Catherine Ciampolini. <laughs> Yasmin Sadik. Chancellor, that concludes the presentation of graduates from the MSc Psychology Programme. Chancellor, I present to you those candidates from the MA Psychotherapy and Counselling Programme who are today being awarded degrees, diplomas and certificates. Patricia Depp. Julie Marie Dove. <laughs> G. 
Chi King Leong. Nama Nathan. Carolina Shaw. Chancellor, that concludes the presentation of graduates from the MA Psychotherapy and Counseling Program. Chancellor, I present to you those candidates from the Advanced Diploma in Existential Psychotherapy Program who are today being awarded degrees, diplomas, and certificates. Mitika Fowler. Chancellor, that concludes the presentation of graduates from the Advanced Diploma in Integrative Psychotherapy Program. Chancellor, I call upon Professor Isabel Henton to present scrolls for the postgraduate programs. Chancellor, I present to you those candidates from the MPhil PhD in Psychotherapy and Counseling Program who are today being awarded degrees, diplomas, and certificates. Apsara Narat. Chancellor, that concludes the presentation of graduates from the MPhil PhD Psychotherapy and Counseling Program. Chancellor, I present to you those candidates from the Doctorate in Psych uh, Counseling Psychology Program who are today being awarded degrees, diplomas, and certificates. Uti Leersch. Meharanjit Press. Meloni Sangbi. <laughs> Natalie Steckler. Chancellor, that concludes the presentation of graduates from the DSYC Counseling Psychology Program. Chancellor, I present to you those candidates from the Doctorate in Counseling Psychology Program who are today being awarded degrees, diplomas, and certificates. Karina True. Chancellor, I call upon Jerry Grayling, Director of Academic Services, to come to the lectern to announce the prize winners from today's graduates, and call upon Professor Neve Downing, De Deputy Vice Chancellor, to present the Academic Achievement Awards. Chancellor, I'm pleased to announce the name of the student who is graduating today as the winner of the Fashion and Design Undergraduate Outstanding Student Prize. Virginia Penna. Chancellor, I am pleased to announce the name of the student who is graduating today as the winner of Fashion and Design Postgraduate and Outstanding Student Prize, 
Georgia Constance Pask. Chancellor, I'm pleased to announce the name of the student who is graduating today as the winner of the Film, Media and Performance Undergraduate Outstanding Student Prize, Emily Down. Chancellor, I'm pleased to announce the name of the student who is graduating today as the winner of the Film, Media and Performance Postgraduate Outstanding Student Prize, Julian Heller. <laughs> Chancellor, I'm pleased to announce the name of the student who is graduating today as the winner of the Liberal Arts and Humanities Undergraduate Outstanding Student Prize, Ekaterina Engelsbach. Chancellor, I am pleased to announce the name of the student who is graduating today as the winner of the Politics and International Relations Postgraduate Outstanding Student Prize, Meza Barash Signora. <laughs> Chancellor, I am pleased to announce the name of the student who is graduating today as the winner of the Psycho Psychology Undergraduate Outstanding Student Prize, Yasmin Sadek. Chancellor, I am pleased to announce the name of the student who is graduating today as the winner of the Psychotherapy Outstanding Student Prize, Jesse Khan. <laughs> Chancellor, I am pleased to announce the name of the student who is graduating today as the winner of the D Psych Counseling Psychology Outstanding Student Prize, Julia Brewer. Chancellor, I call upon Felicia Hurton, alumna of Regents University London, to address the ceremony. Good afternoon. First of all, can I just say congratulations. Graduating is an achievement on its own, but the fact that you have done so during some very challenging times is incredibly impressive. So I think another round of applause for you guys. <laughs> I can only imagine how hard it must have been for you and how different it turned out to what you imagined when you started. But through your perseverance, you've really learned one thing, which is resilience. And it will serve you very well, regardless of what you choose to do next, what path you choose or what you decide to do with your life. So I was actually in your shoes 10 years ago, almost to the day today, uh, graduating as class of 2011. 
in uh, with a degree in international business with Russian and major in finance. And I was about to set off on my career in fund management. And whilst I studied finance, I never thought I'd necessarily go into the industry of finance uh, because I thought that might be a little bit dull. And um, it was actually due to an internship that I did the previous summer, almost to rule finance out, actually, uh, as a career, that I realised that what I thought uh, the job would entail was completely wrong. And instead, it was full of the things that I enjoyed, debate, research, analysis, speaking to clients and management teams. So I changed course and started on their graduate scheme straight after university. And I began a career as an analyst and later on as a fund manager, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was very intellectually stimulating and it made me grow as a human being. However, I always had this entrepreneurial yearning, always wanted to build my own thing. And so that kind of stayed with me throughout my work. And at the same time, I was trying to find out that I had an income, a way to maximize my savings. So I looked around what was the options available to me to do so on my own and was pretty horrified at what was available out there and would complain a lot uh, to my friends and my colleagues. And after a while, uh, my friends and family probably had enough of that and said, stop complaining and why don't you try and do something about it? And for me, that was a key turning point in seeing something that I found annoying in my personal life to something as a problem that I may be able to solve through my professional uh, expertise and the network that I had built. And it was at that point that I started considering leaving what was a very, very comfortable life in fund management to jump into the deep end of a very uncomfortable life as a startup founder of trying to build a fintech business. And two years ago, um, I decided to make the leap and I resigned and I started my journey of building my company till it. And I made a quick pit stop on the way to learn how to code in a software engineering bootcamp. Highly recommend, that was good fun. Um, but then really it was 2020 and 2021 that I've spent all of my time and dedicated most of my waking hours to building Tillit. And so I know just as you guys do, and when a pandemic hit, you know, what you have to do and, and to persevere and stay the course and figure out if this is really for you. And it has no doubt been the hardest thing I have ever done in my life. I am challenged every day but it is the best decision I have ever made. I learn every day and it is incredibly rewarding to being able to build a team of people who believe in your vision, believe in trying to solve a problem and build a product that customers love to use, especially when it's compared to competitors, which they think are crap. Um, but what I'm really trying to say here is that some of you may want to go off and start your own businesses some of you may want to join really established businesses and some of you may want to start and um, join startups. And I think now is an incredible time, especially here in the UK, when there's been a lot of change and there's a lot of focus on what new young businesses are trying to achieve and the change they're trying to build. And there's some incredible people around there who can either be with you on that journey or for you to join uh, in terms of building some real change. And one thing that I've really found helpful on my own journey, both in my old job and in my current role right now, is having someone who provides a bit of an external perspective. And for me, that has always come in the shape of a coach or a mentor. And I find that can bring, be incredibly rewarding for challenging your own way of thinking, your way of working, your way of communicating with other, with other human beings. And so I have both mentored and mentored other people. And for me, it was therefore natural as the first point of way for me to give back to the community, uh, to the region student body um, as an alumni. And that's just one of many ways that you can engage and give back now that you join us. Um, but I really encourage you to look, to look into some of those programs as well. And there's also a program launching where you can be a mentee now that you graduated as well. But so, before I leave you, just want to say that you may have graduated, but never stop learning and never be afraid to fail. I have failed a ton of times, made a lot of mistakes, and trust me, you learn so much more from making mistakes than you do from successes. So don't be afraid to fail, 
don't be afraid to try new things. Don't be afraid to change course if you feel it's not for you because you only have one life. So make the most of it and make it yours. So thank you very much and welcome to the alumni community. Chancellor, Vice-Chancellor, faculty, graduates, ladies and gentlemen, our ceremony is drawing to a close. It's been a special day, one that we will remember for years to come. We've heard many words of thanks, of inspiration and hope for the future. There have been many people involved in the journeys you have travelled to arrive here today. Many sacrifices and demonstrations of love and support. This is your day. They made it possible. So in a moment, I'm going to give you an opportunity to say thank you to them. I cannot let us finish without asking all graduates to stand and face their family and friends and say thank you. Can I ask you to regain your seats, please? There'll be plenty of opportunity to do that over drinks later. Um, I shall invite the Chancellor shortly to close the ceremony. After this, please can I ask you to remain where you are and stand while the platform party leaves. We then invite you to make your way down to the lower lawns where refreshments are available. We hope that you enjoy the opportunity to see fellow graduates and staff after so long apart. Chancellor, can I invite you to return to the lectern to close today's ceremony? So the day has come and the deed of graduation is done. And now you face the most exciting options ahead. If there's one thing we have all learned that we never knew in the last 18 months, is there are many things over, over which we have no idea. We cannot plan, we can't strategize, we must simply face them. Vladimir Ilyich Lenin said at the turn of the 20th century, there are decades when nothing happens. And then there are weeks where decades happen. It's felt like that in the last year, that all of a sudden we've been rushed into understanding ourselves as compared to just the disciplines we're studying. More has been required of you. More has been required of your communities. And so the most important choice ahead is not just to appreciate what you've received today, your learning, your qualification, your achievement, but it is to steady yourself for the next phase of study, of learning, of thinking, of questioning, to develop a curious mind and to let it stick with you for the decades ahead. I have only two things I want to ask of you as you step out from Regents. The first one is to determine what you will stand for, stand up for, as compared to what you will gain. It's often said that if you stand for nothing, you will fall for everything. So what will define you? Not this qualification but the choices that you will make about the person you're now going to become. At the end of the Second World War, Martin Niemöller, a theologian, a historian, a philosopher, wrote these words. First, they came for the socialists, and I didn't speak out. 
because I was not a socialist. Then they came for the trade unionists and I didn't speak out because I was not a trade unionist. And then they came for the Jews and I didn't speak out because I was not a Jew. And then they came for me and there was no one to left to speak for me. What will you stand for? What will define you? Albert Einstein, the great scientist, said the world will not be destroyed by those who do evil, but by those who watch them without doing anything. It's no time to walk by on the other side. If the last 18 months has shown us that we have to be ready to face what we don't know, to have the resilience and skill to resolve to complete, not because it's easy, but because it's hard, to define ourselves by the life we want to keep, rather than a carelessness about the life we have, then we need perspective. And that is my second ask of you. Firstly, that you'll determine to stand for something. But secondly, that you will think with wisdom and perspective about what you face. I came across a poem from 1869. It was actually reprinted in 1919, at the end of the First World War, when 50 million people in the then wealthy world had died of Spanish flu. That was a heavy pandemic. All of history we've had pandemics. They come and they go. But what is necessary is to know how to maneuver through this timeless, consistent perspective of pressure. So here's the poem, ironically rediscovered in 2020. The events may be different to 2019, but the thoughts are just the same. And people stayed at home. And they read books. And they listened and they rested, and they did exercises. They made art and played and learnt new ways of being, and they stopped and they listened more deeply. Someone meditated, someone prayed, someone met their shadow, and people began to think differently and people healed. And in the absence of those who wanted to live in ignorant ways, dangerous, meaningless, heartless, the earth also began to heal. And when the danger had ended and people found themselves, they grieved for the dead and they made new choices and dreamed of new visions and created new ways of living and completely healed the earth just as they were healed. As you emerge from the last 18 months of COVID, sickness, uncertainty, pressure, tiredness, fear, the task to heal the earth remains but the task to heal our minds is the most gripping. How I think, how I think of others. So I ask you, choose to stand for something and ready yourself to be patient. I now declare close this congregation for the conferment of academic awards. I'm delighted to say that you are now graduates of Regents University London. Many congratulations to all of you.